Good evening, folks. On this 24th of March, we have some more food for thought from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, and verse 21. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit. Let's see what suppose you might make of this for us. The Saviour was a man of sorrows, but every thoughtful mind has discovered the fact that down deep in his innermost soul, he carried an inexhaustible treasury of refined and heavenly joy. Of all the human race, there was never a man who had a deeper, purer, or more abiding peace than our Lord Jesus Christ, who was anointed with the oil of gladness above his fellows. His vast benevolence must, from the very nature of things, have afforded him the deepest possible delight. For benevolence is joy. There were a few remarkable sessions, seasons rather, uh, when this joy manifested itself. That hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Christ had his songs. Though it was night with him, though his face was marred and his countenance had lost the luster of earthly happiness, yet sometimes it was lit up with a matchless splendour of unparalleled satisfaction, as he thought about the recompense of the reward, and in the midst of the congregation sang his praise unto God. In this, the Lord Jesus is a blessed picture of his church on earth. At this hour, the church expects to walk in sympathy with her Lord along a thorny road. Through much tribulation, she is forcing her way to the crown. To bear the cross is her office, and to be scorned and counted an alien by her mother's children is her lot. And yet the church has a deep well of joy, of which none can drink but her own children. There are stores of wine and oil and corn hidden in the midst of our Jerusalem, upon which the saints of God are evermore sustained and nurtured. And sometimes, as in our Saviour's case, we have our seasons of intense delight, for there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of our Lord. O oh God, exiles though we be, we rejoice in our King. Yea, in him we, are exceedingly, we exceedingly rejoice, while in his name we set up our banners. I hope you certainly find some encouragement from that this evening. As we pick through some of those sentiments, uh, maybe we have uh, some food for thought this evening as well. So until the next time, God bless. Do take care. Bye for now.